We have to respond to what we have just discovered here. If he is truly, and he is, all of these things to us, then how should we respond to that? Well, notice that there are three I will statements in these verses. Three I will statements. Each one expresses how we should respond to the nine metaphors I have just described for you. First of all, notice we must love him. We must love him. This is not the normal Hebrew word for love. It's a special word that conveys much more than just a verbal expression where you say, I love you. Not to be disrespectful, but in the Hebrew, the picture here is that of the psalmist embracing the Lord or giving the Lord a hug. That's the idea. When you think about the Lord being your strength, your stability, your safety, your Savior, your strong one, your shelter, your shield, your security, and your stronghold. You just want to embrace him and not let him go. That's the idea behind this. I will love thee, O Lord. It's where words fail you and you just bury yourself in his embrace. You love him so much that you're speechless and you just want to hold him and you want him to hold you. And then number two, we must trust Him. We must trust Him. And that's what you find right in the middle of verse 2. In whom I will trust. I don't know what's transpiring in all of your lives tonight, but can I ask you a question? Where's your trust? Where's your trust tonight? What are you depending on to get you through the crisis that you're going through right now? Are you relying on your own strength? Are you relying on your own wisdom or maybe your own plans to, to try to weather the storm that you're going through? Or do you trust God and God alone to sustain you? The psalmist says, I will trust you. Lord, I'm going to trust you and I'm going to trust you alone. I will trust is what the psalmist says. It's not I might trust or I'll think about trusting or eventually I'll get around to trusting. No, he says, I will trust. Are you trusting God to get you through whatever you're going through right now? Knowing from past experience that he has always been my strength, my stability, my safety, my savior, my strong one, my shelter, my shield, and my stronghold. I will continue to trust him. You see, it's good for us to sit back and, and reflect and to remember who God is. As a matter of fact, I think we need to spend more time thinking about who God is instead of thinking about the problems we're dealing with in our lives. When you think about all the struggles and all the problems and, and, and all the adversity that you're dealing with in your life, you'll get down and you'll get discouraged and you'll get overwhelmed and you'll wonder how in the world you're going to make it. But when you get your focus on God and you remember all that He has already done in your life and all who He is to you, then suddenly you say, you know what, I love the Lord and I'm just going to keep trusting Him. 